three reasons why Brian loves Key West. Reason number one, shit like this happens. This shit happens. This shit happens. This shit happens. This shit doesn't it's just happen everywhere. It happens. Not even Standing at the boatyard right now, we're getting Atticus hauled out. Uh, we're going to try to address those uh, that one repair uh, from our shaft that we uh, messed up with our kayak line in the dry tortugas. That's my technical assessment of the situation. It's been a jarring morning already, just being thrown back into the bowels of the of the boatyard. Hope you can hear me. It's a little loud. After going to the dry tortugas, we had a little bit of damage that we suffered. We got a line wrapped up on the prop and on the shaft from our kayak. Because the kayak was buoyant, the line pulled up on the shaft, which essentially cracked, pulled up on this stern tube here and cracked the stern tube. And in fact, severed it. Uh, this right here is going to be the new stern tube. So, uh, I just wrapped fiberglass around a uh, stainless steel pipe that was the right outside diameter. And I'm gonna replace that tube with this tube, obviously cut it down to the correct length, and then use some of this fiberglass here, a fiberglass board that I made, and essentially create a gusset that goes down from here to the tube to reinforce it, to sit right like that, and then glass all that to the hull. We are just about ready to splash and this is uh, the final repair. First of all, the tube is a whole lot more robust in general. It's a lot thicker. Um, yeah, the way that it's glassed to the hull, it's, it's glassed this entire region, so there's just a whole lot more um, strength to the connection, as well as this gusset being glassed to the, to the hull as well. So the whole thing is a lot more strong than it was before. That's the goal, right? We're just, uh, uh, we've tackled one of the weaknesses that we discovered through our shakedown crews, so now it's time to find another one and attack it. exploring a little path through the mangroves. There's a couple of spots where it gets pretty sketchy, like kind of like the spot that's coming up right here. <laughs> we gotta name the dinghy. There's like four or five different entrances to this little area. It's literally like a maze of mangrove rivers. And then you come upon this beautiful little specimen. And what's that behind you? Oh, this little thing? It's a brand new dinghy. What are we calling it? Little shit. Little shit. Or maybe lil shit. L-I-L apostrophe shit. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I like it. Little shit. What you doing, buddy? I just did my exercise. Yeah? I got my personal jet stream jacuzzi. This is great. Whew. Feel a burn. You want to see my butterfly? Yeah. 
And there's where Desiree's gonna go if she gets too tired. This is the drinking pool. This is for adults only. Oh my god! It's submerged. There, there may be some salt water. There's definitely seawater in it. Like you can drink small amounts of seawater. in the little shit. We're leaving the women aboard. This is the last time oh, we saw them. Fine. How about you, Jordan? You want to go? I want to go. Let's do this shit. <laughs> Okay, so one of you guys has to do a toast to Noah and Desiree and I. Because it would be inappropriate if I did it. Because we're awesome. Be like, here's to me! Alright, my raise your glass to uh, Noah, Jordan, and Desiree. Um, you are awesome. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, but, but seriously, uh, you know, I, I just want to say I came to Key West two and a half years ago and I wanted to get on a boat and uh, work with fine people and uh, I met Jordan and of course Desiree. Got to work with both of them. And, uh, it's been an awesome experience. It's been a great, it's been an awesome ride and I want to wish uh, all three of you guys uh, best of luck in your new adventures and uh, Here's to you guys from all your friends here in Key West. All right. So it's our last day in Key West. It is our last five minutes in Key West. And we're dirty and sweaty and very stressed out. Hydrated and starving and in pain, sunburnt. But very excited. Yeah, and we'll say goodbye to our home for three years. Man, that's incredible.
tell you what, like suicide, what's that? I can exercise you, this could be your first day. Cheat on your man, man, that's how you get in his head. Kill a good degree, I know killers in the street. With the stare to make you feel like you're chilling oh, in your head. So don't try to run up on my head, fucking nice. all that rascal shit. Did you make it or drive? Well, my nigga, you're just gonna be a pastor. Oh, Earthbound's got some lovely stuff.